It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Moxa Brewing Company and it's a can of their Scattered Glow Hazy Double IPA coming in at 8.2% ABV. Lovely label, really enjoying that. It's a 1.16 fluid ounce can from, I imagine, the California area uh, in the United States. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Without further ado, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Big fan of these big hazy double IPAs. Look at that. Looks fabulous. Um, one to two finger white head. Hazy as you like, as promised. Kind of amber straw coloured beer. Uh, slow moving carbonation. Looks good. At this stage of the beer review, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Kenny Robertson. Um, I believe this is the last beer that Kenny has sent in this particular batch. They're all reviewed now. Um, and I'm already a bit sad <laughs> because the beers have been tremendous. They really have. They've been wonderful. Well, in this batch we've had Blind Pig, Knee Deep Brewing Company, Lupulin, Trigger Double IPAs, we've had oh, just, just a monumental pack of beer from Kenny from California and I just feel really privileged, I just want to say a massive thank you to him um, for this particular package because we are where we are in 2020, I don't need to bring up too much about 2020, we've all had a pr pretty horrific um, first half of the year. And to be able to send a box of beer halfway across the world um, to me in my kitchen in Wales is just a, just a tremendous gesture. Um, and I really, really appreciate this. So thank you very much. This is a big cheers to you, Kenny. And of course, a big cheers to everybody else who have been supporting us through 2020. Aroma. Tangerine. First thing I get from this is tangerine. A little bit of grapefruit, tangerine, orange peel, passion fruit, mango. It smells really good. Without further ado, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Gotta put that down. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a fantastic beer. What a fantastic beer. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit. I'm missing my hands. I'm missing. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm like trying to touch my fingers and I'm missing. <laughs> Passion fruit, mango, citrus, grapefruit. Oh, fleshy blood orange. Got everything. This beer has everything. Nice kind of little bit of bitterness on the back of the palate. It's punchy. It's it's kind of like it's in your face and punching and slapping flavours at you, like just whacking flavours at you. Brilliant beer, brilliant. The mouthfeel, the mouthfeel is incredible. Oaty, silky, beautiful, beautiful beer. Little bit of sweetness to begin with. Nice amount of bitterness on the back end, but it's not overly done. They've called it a hazy IPA after all, so there's a nice, a nice bit, pardon me, bitterness on the back end. Uh, you just heard then the carbonation roaring back at me. Yeah, great stuff. What a beer. I'm loving the tangerine. That initial splurge of tangerine mixed with 
pineapple chunks. Orange and it's like you can buy like nectarine in syrup and you can buy pineapple chunks in syrup and it's like you've emptied the two cans into a bowl and you give them a good stir up and maybe mashed them a bit with a fork and the, the, the little bit of kind of syrup that's in the can is that represents the sweetness in the beer and then you've got all the, that, that tangerine and the pineapple chunk flavour. Um, there's going to be no bitterness in, um, in in the pineapple or in the tangerine, but that's yeah, that's where the hops come in. Um, it, it, it isn't. It isn't. If you're new to craft beer and you're thinking, oh, they just chucked a load of pineapple chunks and and, and tangerine chunks in syrup into a glass and give it a stir around and and, and... no, no, it's all hops. It's all hops that's produced this wonderful, wonderful flavour. I will never stop being excited by beer if you keep giving me beer like this. <laughs> top, top quality stuff. Um, it's just completely fantastic, it really is. Um, I watch YouTube a lot, I watch a lot of YouTube, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Um, people are passionate about, where are we now? We're, we're in August of 2020, so people are, I mean, the, the whole Halo bombshell dropped today. Um, I used to be a massive gamer, but I'm not anymore. But um, I still keep my ear to the ground. Um, the whole Halo thing dropped today, where um, Halo's not going to launch with a new Xbox. Um, and, and I was just watching this YouTuber, really passionate about it, and really kind of going for it, and really kind of like, like, like getting really underneath it all, and, and, and digging out all the like the nitty gritty bits. And that's his passion. That is passion, and then you see car channels where they're they're really passionate about cars and uh, and and whatnot. And I just think I've never stopped having that same passion for 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 this stuff here in the glass. And I thank you all for the continued success of the channel. I thank you all. I really appreciate it. Thank you. This stuff here is my passion. Nice bit of carbonation, pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Yeah, let's see what the brewer says. So I'm not sure, I'm not, I'm not the biggest kind of artistic type. Um, I'm not sure if that's paintballs, is it? Is it paintballs hitting, about to hit something or... I don't know what it, what it, is it some kind of eclipse? Um, I'm not a very artistic person at all, as you can probably tell. So if, any, if anybody wants to comment in the comments box as to what's going on here on this can, I'd like to know. Um, right, Moxa Brewing Company, where were they from? That's the government advice, we don't want to read that. Um, ooh, is it just the... Where are they from? Ah, here we are, brewed and canned in Rocklin... I think it says Rock. Rockland, California. 8.2% ABV, 473 millilitres. Brilliant. Check out Moxa Brewing Company, another fantastic California based company. <coughs> Kenny, it's been a pleasure. It's been a real pleasure reviewing these beers that you sent over. Um, it's been a real wonderful treat. I really appreciate it. I'm going to rate this. Cheers to you, my friend. Looks good. Smells good. Tastes wonderful. I like that enough. I really do. I'm really excited for this beer. I hope it does really, really well. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.